Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fishing with James. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to put eyes on your jig heads. It's actually a really easy process, so let's go ahead and get started. So for the purpose of this video, I have three 1 16th ounce pill head jig heads, and I've got some blue eyes that I'm going to be putting on them today. So to start off, I'm just going to take my super glue and put a single dot on each jig head in the very middle. You don't need a lot of super glue at all for the eyes to stick, and it's actually easier to put them on there if you have a little bit less. So I know a lot of people use their bodkins to put the eyes on, but I just use my fingers. So all you have to do is take it and place it very carefully into the middle of the jig head. And then I just take a pair of tweezers to finally adjust the eye because it will move around sometimes when you put it on there. So again with the second one, I'm just going to take it and carefully place it down and as quickly as I can, I'm going to take my tweezers and push it into place and get it where I want it. So finally, I'm going to put my eye on the third jig head and adjust it as well. Sometimes I do have to take the eyes off if it's not centered, so if you have to do that, don't worry about it. All you have to do is take your tweezers and kind of pry the eye off and just go at it again. Once you have your eyes on one side, all you have to do is do the exact same thing on the other side. To keep this video concise, I'm not going to be showing that, but it's very simple. All you have to do is just put the eyes on the other side just like you did on the first side. So in order to keep your jig heads in good condition for a long time, it's good to seal down the eyes with some epoxy. This is the two part epoxy that I use, and if you don't have some of this stuff, I've linked it down in the description below. So I just use a paper plate to mix the epoxy. I can get a lot of batches done as you can see. And so you're just going to take the blue bottle of epoxy and put a nice drop onto the plate. Next you're going to take the hardener in the red bottle and put an equal size drop right next to the first drop. It's important that the drops are the same size so that you get an equal mixture. So for mixing the epoxy, I just use a toothpick and all you're going to want to do is just take the drops and just stir them together for a good minute or so. You don't want to spend all day on this because this stuff will start hardening very quickly, but you want to make sure it's mixed together very well. So once the epoxy is mixed, you're going to get some on your toothpick and just put a nice drop over each of the eyes. So you can see it's already starting to harden a little bit, but once you've got it onto the eyes, you just use the edge of the toothpick to roll it around all the edges because you want to seal the eye down all the way to the jig head. So you can see I'm kind of making a circle around the eye with the epoxy. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a nice little drop and roll some around the edges. I want to make sure to hit all the sides there so that it gets all the way around the eye. So same thing on the other side. I'm just going to take the epoxy and do the exact same thing that I did on the first side. Kind of roll it around the edges. You don't want too much epoxy, but you want enough where it's a nice rounded coating over the eye. Once I get up to speed, I can do about 10 to 12 different coatings with one mixing of epoxy. And once you've done this a few times, you can definitely get your speed up and become really efficient at it. So once you get the final coating of epoxy on, this is what your jig heads are going to look like. Uh, you can see that the epoxy levels are a little bit different between the jig heads. I was doing this from like four feet away so I could film this video with a tripod. That just shows how important it is to get the same amount of epoxy around each eye. This final step is optional, but it's necessary if you want to make your jig heads look the best they can be. So if you look closely, you can see some bubbles underneath the epoxy from where it was mixed. And so I'm just taking this mini torch and very lightly hitting these areas to release the bubbles so it gives off a nice smooth appearance at the very end. And I do it on the other side as well. It's very important not to burn this epoxy. You don't want to just sit there with your flame on it. You just want to hit it very lightly and it'll get all those bubbles out of there. So finally, I'm going to take my jig heads and set them on a stand to dry in the clamp. I let them sit for about one minute on each side and then I flip them over. This is important because the epoxy is still a little bit uh, liquiditous uh, because it's been warmed up and it'll want to move around and it'll alter the shape of the jig head. So about one minute on each side and then after two or three flips, the epoxy is going to start to set in really nicely and all you have to do is just leave them to dry for a few hours so that it sets up. So that's it. That's how you put eyes on jig heads. I've had a lot of people asking me how I put eyes on the jigs that I tie and I wanted to get this tutorial out there for you guys. So I hope you all enjoyed and if you did make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.